So we're masking the B17 off roughly because we're going to shoot some primer on it and see how the putty came out. So I'm not going to be exact, you know, putting the masks over the windows exactly. I can go outside the lines a little bit. So some of the tools you should get for masking um, would be obviously some masking tape, which would be like Tamiya masking tape. You can get a circle cutter. That's what I'll use to put the mask on top of this guy right here. Um, get yourself a self-healing cutting mat. These are really handy. If you've ever looked at them and wondered why did this have lines all over it, that's so that you can do measurements and approximations when you cut, and it helps you to do straight cuts with your ruler, which you'll need, and an X-Acto knife. So let's do some preliminary masking. We'll mask off the fuselage, and hopefully we'll be ready soon to put primer on it. Let's do a quick demo of the circle cutter. Circle cutter is really easy to use. You just basically have to measure the diameter of the area you want to cover and then open up the circle cutter to that dimension or that diameter and then cut the circle. Now what I'm going to do is trim it out here. I'll just cut this off, peel off the excess masking tape. Then what we'll do is lift this circle. Get my tweezers here, pull it up. And now install it on top of the model. The circle cutter comes in handy for obviously anything that's circular, um, such as masking off wheels, masking off if you're doing armor models, you can mask off the, the rim so you can paint the rubber around a road wheel and so forth. So then it gives you a nice exact circle. So circle cutter is very handy. Fill in the windows, I'm going to use masking tape. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a piece of masking tape and put it over the window, like this, okay? Then what I want to do is just burnish the edge of the window. What I'm doing is I'm making the outline of the window by using the pencil to outline the edge. And just make sure you got it nice and tight. I'm sure you understand what I'm doing here. Then what I'll do is I'll take this piece off. Okay. Then I'll put it on this piece of plastic and cut it out. Right around those edges that I just burnished. Hopefully when we're done, this will fit right into that window opening. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but you want to make sure that no paint gets into the window when you're priming. Alright, so let's take this up. And what we'll do is this right in the window here and push it down into the recess and I'm going to get myself a something to burnish this with in my case I'm going to use a popsicle stick that's been cut so that there's a point on it and then just oops now you get the idea and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug off every window on this thing so that no paint can get in. Okay, here's a little hint or tip that you can use when you're doing your windows on the airplane. I use regular masking tape to mask off the windows and then I usually take some of this liquid masker, which is Humbrol Mask All, which is a liquid mask, and what I do is I'll open it up here. What I like to do is I like to seal off the edges around the windows when I cut the tape really close to the window edges so that I'm sure there's a seal. So what you do is you just take some of this liquid masker on a Q-tip. I like to use a Q-tip and just run it around the edges of the window. And you can wipe off any excess, but seal off the edges of the windows all the way around. And then you'll be sure that when you paint, 
you will not get any paint under the edges of the masking tape. So I just do this here so you can see. Don't worry about getting it on the inside. It's the outside edges you don't want to get any overflow on. There you go. Just painting that masker all the way around on all the windows. Wipe off the excess. And that should seal the edges of the masking tape. All the windows are now taped off. I've also used sheet styrene on the cockpit area to close that off. It was easier than tape. As you can see, I also taped the wing roots for ease of assembly. So all the windows, all the open areas are all closed off now. So no paint goes inside of the airplane and messes up the paint and the detail that we've done inside. I also went ahead and I took the wings, flipped them over, and masked off the wheel wells where the landing gear goes in because we've already painted that all up and detailed that. So everything is taped off and we're ready to shoot some primer on this guy. Make sure to watch part 7 for priming the B-17.